as physical, hands-on, working on the body energy healing like shiatsu or acupuncture or some of osteopathy that's working to move energies through the body in an in a easier way and that certainly releases uh, blocked energies, helps things to move better. Then there's a whole category of energy healing that includes things like Reiki, uh, EMF, uh, chakra balancing of different types, reconnective healings. And in this style, the practitioner connects with energy streams, types of consciousness and energy, and brings those, that, that energy through their own field, through their own hands, and into the field of the client. Uh, so it, it's like they're working the energy fields of the person. The person usually lies on a massage table, healing table, and uh, uh, there may be an intuitive aspect that the healer or the client may be connecting in with the kinds of consciousness that's in the, the fields. But it's not structured field by field, it's more of a flow of energy that's flowing through. Then in advanced energy healing and awareness as I practice it, what I do is uh, we make use of the actual energy fields themselves. So the person is sitting up, we're sitting in chairs facing one another and talking, and the person accesses their own energetic nature and finds what consciousness they have stored in their own energy fields and transforms it. So the healing is using uh, spiritual awareness and consciousness to transform patterns in the energy field from the inside out. When I think of spiritual path as a broad term, I tend to think of spiritual practices. What techniques is a person using to connect with that divine spirit that is within all of us? And all the different disciplines, all the different practices worldwide bring people into a deeper connection with their own divine nature. What what happens in this work that I offer is that it teaches the person about their own energetic makeup. It's sort of like we have a body, but if we don't know that we have kidneys or a heart or tonsils, we don't know how to live in harmony with those things, how to make use of them. And so by learning what's in the energy fields and learning to bring awareness to them, we, are, we become able to follow any spiritual path more uh, deeply, more accurately. Whether a person likes mindfulness meditation, whether they like chanting, whether they like uh, authentic movement and dance, um, whether they like a silence retreat, whatever the technique is that the person likes to use to connect with that feeling of the divine order within them, understanding how to get there energetically just enhances all of that work for them. So it's not so much that advanced energy healing and awareness is a spiritual uh, discipline or practice in itself, but it can be. Uh, it's more that by adding it to any spiritual practice, it makes that practice deeper, richer, more successful, um, less hit and miss, less mysterious and random, and more consistent and reliable and uh, gives the person the opportunity to access their own higher dimensions in, through fairly simple techniques. Again, the book that I've written, The Whole You, has chapters in it about how to make use of the energy fields for spiritual enlightenment. So it's possible to create a personal spiritual practice through engaging with the energy fields, through engaging with the spiritual guidance. Uh, the various ways that I offer this work are uh, in one-on-one -on -one healing sessions, either in person or over the telephone. Um, in, uh, I also teach a wide variety of workshops and seminars. Uh, the book supports that teaching work. The, um, I can teach what's in the book or all the various things that expand out from having this quality of energetic understanding and skills of of life and of healership. Uh, I have a mentoring program where I really love to help people find that spiritual calling and become that unique, fully embodied person that they are in the universe. So um, regardless of a person's occupation, it might be in healing work, a therapy, 
therapeutic work or it could be anything. It could be a calling to be an engineer or to be an athlete. It doesn't matter what the calling is, but it helps the person to align with their own true nature, with their own higher energies and in the relationship with the guidance that comes from there and to um, unblock the places where they may be limiting themselves or sabotaging their own ability to really embody that. So the mentoring program is designed to help people to hone and purify their own capacity to, to do their, their service work in the world. I also offer um, an intuitive scan of the person's field. Uh, if a person sends me a photograph, either uploading a digital photograph or sending me a hard copy, I can connect with their field through the photograph and scan and sort of get a sense of how the energies are flowing, where the blockages are, um, some intuitive read of what's in the, can, the consciousness that's in the fields there. The way that we tend to live as humans is we're very engaged in our mental processing. We are taught, you know, alphabet blocks in the crib. It's like the mental processing of Consciousness is the thing that we're all really, uh, we really like it. It's like our special skill. The problem is that when we only live engaged with our own mental processing, we're missing everything else that's going on. And we tend to create a world that's completely made up out of our own beliefs and history and memories and thoughts. So the problem with that is that we, we're not really aware of how we feel emotionally about things and we're certainly not connected with our own spiritual nature and the guidance and advice of the web of life, of spirit that is in all forms and is available to us to flow through us and manifest through us. So when a person connects with their own energy fields, first of all they become much more highly tuned to their own experience. If they're in an experience and their emotional field is vibrating and happy and expanded, they know this is something that's good for them. If they're in an experience where their emotional field is condensing and contracting, it's probably something that they need to pay more attention to. It might not be good for them. So just bringing awareness to what's going on in the fields is the first step. Then to engage with the higher energies is really to get wise advice, to be guided through something that's much bigger than what our own mind can possibly be. One person's mind is just one little lifetime, one human iteration with only the thoughts that, that we've managed to have so far. If we're connected with our own higher energies, we're connected with the wisdom of all life everywhere, of the spirit that flows through all things, of, of divine, the divine order, the, the collective that is within each of us. And when we connect with that, we're connected with life. So, you know, you don't have to sweat the small stuff. It sort of gets looked after by being in that connection. And that really is the biggest transformation of life.